this? Is this like a city or something? What is this place? Are these cages? Last video, I left you guys on the biggest cliffhanger ever. So if you look right here, this is like a merchant landing pad. And every single day, the merchant comes down from space or maybe, I don't know, some other spot on the map and apparently supplies us some loot for our mech or our farm or whatever. So if we look in our inventory, you can see I don't have that much going on in here. But I'm thinking something like these petrified eggs and this clam. And of course, this red crystal might go for much. Actually, now that I look at it, it says $15 for this red crystal. So maybe not. But I'm hoping... Oh, okay. Here, here she is. Or he is. I don't know. Robot? What is it? Okay. Well, her name is Lola. So, okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is actually all stuff that we can buy. So these look like cosmetics. I don't think we can actually pull a card around. And then there's even some mech parts. Ooh, bro. That looks pretty sweet, but I'm a brokey. So maybe let's sell some stuff. What do we have? Uh, red crystal, $15. I don't even think that's worth it. But eggs... I don't know what I'm going to even use those for, so I'll sell that. Clam, I don't know what I'll use that for, so I'll sell it. But now I have $550. I kind of want this vintage engine, so let's buy that. All right, well, all I have is 50 bucks left, so uh, I don't think I could really buy anything else. But let's put this thing on the little docking station here, and let's go to mech customizations. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so vintage engine. So we'll take off this tractor one. Uh, you know what, I'll just... Eat it that way. <laughs> and then I will put this one on. Wow, that actually looks kind of nice, bro. Okay, I got this thing out in the sunlight now so we could actually see a good view of this. Yeah, that looks so cool. I like how, like, there's a fan here that's also, like, kind of where the wheel would be. Oh, what? Vintage windshield? This looks like there's no... It's 50% off. Okay, what am I selling? What am I selling? Geode shards? That has to be worth a lot, right? I don't... I don't know why I never look at the price. It literally tells me how much I could sell it for, but, uh, oh, here we go. Sell 450. Yes, please. And I have two. Oh, dude, $900. Okay. Let me get this vintage windshield. Cause it looks like there's no like borders on it, but okay. If you look at the windshield now, you can see that there's like big metal frames on it. And I'm assuming, hopefully if I equipped this vintage one, <gasps> there's no borders on it. And let's yeet that one. There we go. And then we will put this one on. Very nice. Oh my gosh. Bro, look at there's no there's no borders on here. It feels so free in this thing now. It's almost like we don't even have a windshield. All right, what are the tasks for today? Restore Stepstone Peak. So if we go to map, okay, that's Stepstone Peak. But if we look at our farm here, you can see that uh, we have a lot of things growing. Also, I don't think I showed all of these on camera last time. I think all I put down was one little plot. Um, what is this? Rabbage? Oh, I forgot about Rabbage. I forgot that that's like a newer kind of plant that we found. Wow, Rabbage must take a very long time to grow because I think I planted these ones just a little bit after the last ones. Anyways, on our way to, what is this place called again? Stepstone Peak. Now, actually, in the last video, every single different place that I went to of, like, restoring, so, like, I restored Pine Heights, I restored, I think, somewhere over here? I don't know. Maybe it was just this one. But anyways, each one of these purple sections are ones that we need to restore. And I remember one of them saying that I needed to upgrade some of my weapons, so maybe, uh, oh, okay, look at this. Look at this! Maybe I don't need to upgrade any of my weapons. Here we go. All right, well, I have veered from the path of Stepstone Peak, and now I am at Edge Cliffs. And, uh, yeah, basically, this task is just to vacuum up all of this uh, nasty little plant infection. And this, surprisingly, there's no goop. At the other location, uh, what was that one? That was Pine Heights. That one was full of just a bunch, a bunch of goo. But you know what? I'm actually kind of like enjoying the fact that each place is probably going to have a different task rather than just like spraying goo with, uh, <laughs> with water. Now, some of you may be wondering what happens and like what is the point of actually vacuuming up all of this stuff and killing off the infection. And although, yes, it does make the place a whole lot cleaner and look a whole lot nicer, you also restore like the valuable resources in the area. So uh, yeah, right here. So this is a copper deposit, but 
if you look around, there's no copper in there. And that's because all these plants and all the goo that are in all these purple areas actually shut down all of the production of any of the natural resources. Which means basically you can't progress any farther in the game until you clear out all of these bushes. Alright, I'm at 94% and there we go. It's completed. So now if we look on the map, you can see that Edge Cliffs is now fully claimed. Now like I was saying, what that means is that more resources just start growing that are of course more advanced resources. Well, I don't like working through the night, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed, but I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so we get this little cut scene. You guys can see that it says Edge Cliffs. So this is the last place that we claimed, and there's copper. We have to get copper, bro. That has to be a good resource, right? Okay, and for those of you who don't know, I'm not sure if I showed this in the last video, but basically every single place that we claim, we unlock another little key or arrow, whatever you want to call that, on that little door there. So yeah, endgame is going to be pretty sweet because uh, basically we're going to be able to go through that massive door and I'm not quite sure what happens. Maybe it's a boss, maybe it's aliens, I don't know. Also, last video I ran into some crazy alien creatures and those were like the cutest things in the world. So, if you haven't seen those animals yet, go ahead and uh, check out that video because it was a lot of fun exploring and kind of just getting started in this world. All right, so before we get copper, I actually see this interesting looking plant. So car root, car root, I don't know how you say that, but I'm just gonna say carrot because it looks like a carrot. But look at this, bro, some copper deposit. This is gonna be nice. This is definitely gonna allow us to make more advanced things. Speaking of that, new construct flower press, new recipe, copper wire, and also grinder that looks like a, uh, Looks like, oh, over encumbered already? What? Yeah, that thing looked like a windmill. That was kind of weird. I don't know how that's going to grind up stone by uh, wind power, but hey, maybe the wind on this planet is... Did I seriously just trip and fall? Get up, buddy, get up. Yeah, maybe the wind on this planet is just uh, that intense to where it makes the windmill spin so fast it grinds some stone. Dang it, I am very slow now that I am uh, full of copper. Oh, look it, look it, look it, over here, over here. This is one of the animals I was talking about. Look at this little frog creature, bro. I love this thing. In the last episode, this is what I was messing around with, and my gosh. I'm gonna do it again. He's a distinguished gentleman. Do you see those little hands, bro? That was great. There it is. Beautiful little hands. Aw, oh, yeah, the merchant is here. Every day she just shows up? Dude, that's so nice. Oh, here. Sorry, uh, sorry, Lola. I'll turn my light off. All right, does she have anything new? Oh, hot rod engine. I haven't seen that. Hot rod arm set? Dude, look at those delts, bro. Big old shoulders. And, uh, yeah, other than that, it's all just kind of cosmetic stuff. Ah, but wait, there's wheat. I'm gonna buy wheat. How much can I buy? How much money do I have? I don't even know. 850? Okay, well, I'm not gonna spend 850. Maybe like, uh, 400. Ew. Get out of there. Nasty. Ew. You too. But wow, look at that. Nice farm going. Now, here are some of the new items. So we have a grinder, we have a flower press, and we actually have already made all these. Well, this little flower press looks the cheapest. It looks like four aluminum frames and some copper. So I guess I'll place it right there because it's kind of close to this thing, and that's where we're going to be putting our mech anyways. All right, let's deposit some copper and now let's look for some aluminum frames is it built in here yes it is okay so let's build oh not 12 i just need four please okay cool i picked those up and there we go we have a flower press so what does this thing do exactly oh okay so red flowers make red paint blue flowers of course make blue paint but how do we make like different colors ah okay so i'm gonna need a lot more red flowers because of course we need to make the uh, corn dogs orange but orange paint is what, like yellow and red mixed together? So that might that might take a while because I have not seen a yellow flower. Now, what does it take for one of these wind turbines, also known as a grinder? So stone, copper wire, and aluminum rod. You know, I really want this wind turbine like very, very far out of the way. So I think I'm going to try and just put it like somewhere right about there. So I got stone and aluminum rod. Now I just need copper wire in there. All right, so let me do copper wire. I'll go ahead and drag it to four. New recipe, aluminum electronics and weather station. No way, bro. That's kind of crazy. Oh, look at that thing. That looks awesome. Okay, now what exactly does this thing do? Oh, so okay, we put red crystal in there and we get red crystal dust. And then there's stone dust, so we put stone in there. All right, and then with this noxious pod or noxus pod, look at all the stuff that you can make with this thing. I don't know about you, but these power cores look pretty useful. 
Looks like Iron Man's heart, bro. All right, well, I'm progressing pretty quick here. Look at that. We got the big old wind turbine, and we even have a little paint mixer, and even all those crops growing. So, while those are growing, and of course it is rainy and nighttime, I'm going to go and restore Stepstone Peak. That was the one that I was originally trying to restore, but I got distracted at Edge Cliffs. Okay, Stepstone Peak, here we are. Irrigation hose upgrade required. Oh, so it's telling me to go here, but I can't even, like, destroy any of this stuff yet. Okay, I'm getting some water, because we at least need to try, you know? We need to see if this actually doesn't kill it. Alright, well, it definitely does not kill it. You know what? This place is kind of interesting, because it has plants and the goo all at once. So I guess I'm going to try and get rid of all the plants that I can, and then I'll come back with the upgraded water hose to try and destroy all the goo. But uh, I think I got all the plants. Alright, so let's go ahead and dock our mech. Let's go to the upgrade depot. So the upgrade we need is irrigation hose power one. So it requires red crystal dust and rabbage oil, which I think I have some red crystal and I also know I planted a bunch of rabbage. So let me go to the oil press. Rabbage oil. Oh yeah, let's make as much as we can. All right, cool. Well, that's being made. Let's now go over to the grinder and let's make as much red crystal dust as we can. Also, if you guys are playing this game as well, make sure when you craft a bunch of stuff, you do it right before you go to bed. Or at least when it's at least starting to get dark. Because when you wake up, it'll be all done. And look at this! The merchant is back! You know, I actually really like that there's a merchant in this game because it gives you something to look forward to every single day. Ooh, new engine. And my gosh, is it expensive? $1,000 for that thing? Okay, so in the top left, it says restore Stepstone Peak, restore Mountainside Coast, restore Yellow Forest. And that one sticks out to me. Because what I need is yellow flowers, and I'm assuming they're in Yellow Forest. I really want this mech orange. I really do. Look at this. Is this a bridge or is this like a jump? Oh, it's a jump. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I'm progressing too far, man. I am uh, I am experiencing every single part of the map before I should even be over here. But I need to find my yellow flowers. Oh my gosh, that was the fastest transition ever. I literally turned this corner and boom, there's a yellow flower. Am I surprised I found yellow flowers in the yellow forest? Absolutely not. But wow, is this map big, bro? Ooh, look at there's a cave. I really want to go in this cave. How the heck would that even happen? There's like no step stones or anything to get in there. Okay, I can't get distracted. I need to keep finding these yellow flowers. Ooh, what's that? Look at it. It's like a little a little house. What creatures live in this thing? I, I I don't see any creatures along the beach. What am I doing, bro? I just keep getting distracted by little houses and caves and all that good stuff. I need to find my yellow flowers. And look at to the right and also to the left. There are some yellow flowers. Very nice. And one flower. And two flowers. You know, how many flowers do we have? Only three? I feel like I've been out here forever. It's literally nighttime now. Is that a giant volcano? I think that's a giant volcano. How would we even get over there? I don't know. Weird. But all I do know is that we need more yellow flowers. Hey, look at that. More yellow flowers. Is that like teeth or something in this cave? Do you see this thing? What is that? Uh, I don't think my mech can fit in here. Could I break this out? Oh, I can. Oh, I could pick it up. Look at that. All right, there we go. Now my mech has it in its inventory. All right, so I'm back at the base, and if you guys look here, I have my red crystal dust, and I also have my ravage oil. So now, I think if I dock my mech over here and go up to the little control panel, I can upgrade my irrigation hose just barely. Look at that, ravage oil, nine, exactly. Boom, there we go. So now, if we look back on the map, I actually might be able to conquer or claim, whatever you want to call it, Stepstone Peak. But first, I want to make some orange paint, so let's get some red paint, let's get some yellow paint. But how are we going to mix both of them? In the same machine, or is there another machine for that? Okay, color mixer. Hardwood? Where do I get hardwood from? We just have regular wood right now. Oh man, I'm really running out of space here, aren't I? Let's, uh, let's just put it right there. Sure. Alright, so we'll give it red crystal, but I'm gonna need more of that. And how do I get hardwood? I'm assuming I can't get hardwood with just this regular saw here. But let's do the test. So over here, I got a large tree, and... Okay. Okay. Maybe. 
Okay, I got hardwood. In the last episode, did I upgrade this this weapon here? I think I did. Maybe maybe that's why I can get hardwood now. Ooh, raining wood, man. Raining wood. And amber. Raining amber as well. That has to sell for a lot. I can't wait till the merchant gets here. She's gonna have new things for us. And also, we're gonna be able to sell that amber. That has to be rich, right? Because I've never seen amber. Does it say like it's rare or $205? That's pretty good. What does this sell for? $370 for a fossil. Listen, I don't know about you, but I feel like an alien fossil is probably gonna cost a little bit more than 350 bucks. I think a regular fossil in real life is worth way more than that, but uh, it's all right. You know, we're on an alien planet. Money may go further here. I also get an entire robot arm. Uh, oh, two sets of robot arms for 350 bucks. So, you know, maybe it's worth it. So let's go ahead and sell the fossil. Let's go ahead and sell the amber. Can I buy like a new set of arms or something though? Oh, hot rod arms. Looks like it has flames on it. You know what? I'm gonna get one of those. Thank you, Lola. Now let's dock the mech. Let's go ahead and take these arms off and eat them off to the side because we don't need them anymore. And then we'll go to mech customization and is that the arm? That's the old arm. There we go. Hot rod arm left and right. Here we go. Oh, oh, I, they totally fell on my head. Uh, left. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, that works. And right. So we are in the mech and ooh, did you see that? Look at the arms, bro. It has flames on it. That's actually really cool. And then eventually I'll be able to paint the flames like orange or something. That's gonna be pretty cool, bro. Speaking of that, can I now craft this? Oh no, we need more uh, red crystal dust. So let's go to the grinder and let's just make as many red crystal dust as we can. How many is it making? Five. And how many do we need? Ten. Oh, we already have two in there. So we only need three more. Move out of my way, you rat scallions. These red crystals are mine. Farming, farming, farming. You guys know the song. I sing it every single time I start farming. All right, more red crystal. Now, while I'm waiting for that to all grind up, I'm gonna go ahead and restore, what was that last one that we were going for? Stepstone Peak, that's what it's called. This water hose better do the trick. Oh, what? Wait a second, this is where we saw all those cutscenes. This place is sick, bro. Look at this door. So next up on the map, Stepstone Peak is where we're going and that's the one that we're restoring and that'll actually unlock that one. And then pretty much three more videos later, I'm gonna actually open up this door. Dude, this is so cool. I'm so hyped for this. Wow, we are progressing extremely fast in this survival game. Also, I uh, ran out of water because I was just spraying it. But uh, hey, at least we know it works now. Give me all the water. Now it's time to take out all the goo. All right, well, I already ran out of water, so. I really need to upgrade this little water tank on this mech, man. This is, uh, this is rough. Man, I was about to say, dude, that was taking a while. All right, it is the next day. I went to bed and you guys can look. We unlocked another key on the door. All right, so if we look on the map, you can go ahead and see that when I hover over Stepstone Peak, it tells me the resources that are in this area. So of course, yellow flower and also some coal, which that's interesting because I don't remember getting coal from over here. But then there are two other ones that we have not yet seen. But before I check out and see what exactly those new resources are, I'm gonna go ahead and try and paint my mech orange, finally. I mean, my goodness, it's taken some time, but here we go. Let's, let's turn off my light there. So there we go, orange paint. Let's, uh, let's make as much as we can. So how do I paint this thing up? Because I don't quite remember, uh, Oh, oh, it's the gun. It's a paint gun. There we go. Okay, so I have loaded orange into this thing. And you can see whenever I hover over something, it shows you exactly what it looks like. Oh, dude, the orange and the blue actually look really nice. Okay, so first, let's do the midsection. We'll do the engine. We'll do the left leg, the right leg, the arms, of course. But how do I paint the, uh, the opposite? Oh, see, I don't want to hide... I don't want to hide the flames, man. Those look cool. Okay, let's uh, let's do the reload and see what other... Ooh! Like ketchup and mustard, bro. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the red on that. The red on that. Oh, yeah, for sure on the legs as well. On the little wheel wells, or I guess fan wells. And then also for the midsection of the mech. Bro, look at how sick this looks now. Little corn dog is approved. All right, Lola, don't disappoint me today. What do you have? What do you have? A whole lot of cosmetic stuff I do not care about. Nah, I'm just joking. I just don't have a house, so I'm salty about it. 
Speaking of that, can we like build a house yet or anything? Oh, a small cabin. Let's uh, let's make this. Where should we put it? I'll just put it right there. So let's put wood and plant fiber. Now we just need some aluminum frames. Okay, and I believe that it was asking for four. Man, I feel so rich, bro. Anything I want, I can just have it. Oh, okay, well clearly I'm not that rich because I don't even have enough wood. Farming, farming, farming. Because I'm a brokey apparently, dude. I don't even have wood. Okay, how about now? Boom! Look at that, bro! We got a house! Could we go inside? Uh, okay, we can, but not- technically not really. Uh-oh, weed seeds incoming! Wait, what? What?! They destroyed all my crops, bro? Or did these just like- did these just dry out or something? Oh, great. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Uh-oh. Don't land on my dead crops, how dare you? Oh, dude, this is all sorts of bad. What the heck? I know this happened in the last video, but not- Not as bad as this one. This is quick, bro. They're falling fast. Oh my gosh, it's non-stop. There we go. Okay, done. Alright, well, I guess let's just get the seeds from these moldy, nasty veggies, man. But now it is time to do some exploring, of course, after I water my crops. I did look at the map, and yeah, it said there was yellow flowers, and there was some other stuff, like coal or something. But the two other resources I haven't even seen yet, so I guess we'll just have to find out. Man, look at my mech, dude. It looks so sick with the red and orange. Okay, it looks like I have found some new items. Chrome maze? It's like chrome corn? What? And what is this over here? This looks like metal or something? Oh, iron, yeah. Oh, spike saw upgrade required? Bro, I'm gonna need a level 2 saw for this thing? Alright, well, hey, I mean, it's good to know. It's, it's great to know that there's actually more metal in this game. That means there's like even more advanced weaponry that we can make. Also, there's some strange beacon that's over there, but I, I don't see anything on the map. The only thing that makes the most sense is reach place with good signal. So, I'm assuming it's up on one of those mountains. These mountains. And we're gonna have to try and contact someone. I don't know. But in the next video, I'll do that. I want to do some exploring. I want to find something that maybe we shouldn't have found. Aliens? Bad guys? Ruins? I don't know. Alright, well, if you look up in the sky, you can see that the sun is setting, and I'm actually in a new area. It's called Lowland Plains, and what is this? Is this like a city or something? What is this place? Are these cages? What is this place? There's like massive glowing crystals. Well, I hate to cut it short, but don't forget to tune in next Saturday when I'm going to show off what's exactly happening inside that alien zoo. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and of course, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys next Saturday.